Welcome to logical reasoning video on clocks from careerright.com. Clocks forms an important section of placement tests, job interviews, banks and other exams. Owing to its importance, we find one to two questions on this in every paper. This topic confuses many and so today we'll see shortcuts and tips to remember everything related to clocks very easily. You can practice clocks on careerright.com. So let's begin. Let us take a look at some important tips related to clocks before starting with sums. Okay, we best way to handle sums related to clocks is to have a clock with you or an analog clock with you during exam like your watch. Okay, now we know that there are 24 hours in a day then one hour is 60 minutes and one minute has 60 seconds. Now these are very pretty basic things. Let's move on to a very nice tip which you will not find anywhere else or most of the books omit it. What happens is that they give you a clock okay, and they say that the clock has been placed in front of a mirror okay, and they tell you that the clock has this time. So what will be the time which you will see in the mirror? Now if you try to calculate through image and all that stuff it will take too long. So what to do? Very easy. Whatever time has been given just subtract it out of 1160 okay now why 1160 or how to remember 1160 very easy you know in a clock analog clock you will have time from 1 to 12 o'clock so maximum is 12 o'clock what is 12 o'clock 12 0 0 correct that is nothing but 11 plus 60 minutes 60 minutes is nothing but 1 hour so 11 plus 1 hour is 12 so remember 1160 whatever time is given just subtract it from 1160 you will get the answer say this is real one okay and this is the mirror okay so in the real say the time is 10 25 then what will be the time that would be shown in the mirror very easy take 1160 minus 10 25 what you will get over here 11 minus 10 is 1 60 minus 25 is 35 so the answer is 135 so over here in the mirror you will get 135 say they have given that in the mirror the time is uh, say 245 so what will be the real time very easy over here take a look take 1160 and subtract 245 from 8 what you will get over here 60 minus 45 is 15 11 minus 2 is 9 so you will get the answer as 915 see very easy very important trick over here this will help you solve the sums very quickly in a jiffy and uh, most of the books do not have this trick so remember this 1160 subtract from 1160 to get the mirror time or the real time okay now apart from this there's another thing say this is a clock okay okay my drawing is very bad but still this is a clock here this is 12 here this is 6 3 9 and here you will have 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10 and 11. Now we know that there is the hour hand then there is the minute hand okay and we know that each of the hour is divided into 5 spaces 3, 4 and this is the 5th one okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is the 5th one. So like this how many spaces are there? 1 hour has 5 spaces. So 12 hours will have 5 into 12, 60 spaces, okay, there are 60 spaces, these spaces are called as minute spaces, right, these are minute spaces, so in 12 hours the entire clock which is there, so from 12 to 12, there are 60 minute spaces in it, just remember this word, 60 minute spaces or 60 so small dashes are there whenever we whenever the clock moves one minute what happens is that the clock moves one minute means the minute hand moves one minute space correct so clock moves two minutes that means the clock has moved two minute spaces so this is 12 this is one okay this is the clock one two three four and five so when the minute hand moves one minute it moves one minute space okay 
when the minute hand moves say 4 minutes so that means the clock has moved 4 minutes spaces from here this is 4 minutes spaces and when the minute hand moves 5 minutes spaces we say that the clock has moved 5 minutes okay now whenever the minute hand moves 60 minutes spaces what will happen that means the clock has moved 60 minutes that is 1 hour has been completed okay see how easy it is just remember the word minute spaces there are 60 minute spaces in the clock that means there are 60 small such small dashes in the clock and between 1 hour that is 12 to 1 or 1 to 2 or say 5 to 6 there are 5 such small dashes you can check out your clock uh, or your watch which you are wearing you will realize that there are 5 dashes between any 1 hour let's move on to some more tips now why did we stress on the word minute spaces okay the, because it is very important because we have to calculate degrees or the angle or how many minutes have been calculated later on in sums that is the reason we stressed on minute spaces now let's move on to some more tips okay take a look at the left hand side first of all what do we know a clock is circular so the, if this is 12 this is 6 this is 3 and this is 9 okay what is the total angle for a circle very easy 360 degrees so whenever any hand our hand or the minute hand moves like this entirely that means they have covered 360 degrees okay now we know that um, in one hour the minute hand goes 360 degrees correct right say this is 12 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is our hour hand okay the minute hand which is there the minute hand goes 360 degrees in one hour now the hour hand the hour hand will go from 12 it will go to 1 okay when one hour is over the hour hand which is over here it will go to 1 so how much degree has been covered by the hour hand in one hour or in 60 minutes very easy let us see 12 hours is nothing but 360 degrees so 1 hour is how much 360 divided by 12 30 degrees so in 1 hour the minute hand goes 360 degrees but the hour hand which is there hour hand it moves only 30 degrees see how easy it is in 1 minute what happens is that this is for the hour hand right you got it as 30 degrees it is an important derivation remember this now similarly in 1 minute the seconds hand which is there it goes 360 degrees correct in 1 minute the seconds hand goes 360 degrees so how much does the minute hand go the minute hand will cover only 1 minute space in 1 minute okay there are 60 minute spaces we have seen 60 minute spaces 60 minute spaces in the entire clock that means 60 minute spaces correspond to 360 degrees so one minute space will correspond to how many degrees 360 degrees divided by 60 that is 6 degrees that means when the second hand okay this is the clock again over here we'll have the clock when the second hand goes 360 degrees the minute hand which is there it will cover only one minute okay that is one minute space that means only six degrees so in one minute are in say one hour okay when the minute hand covers 60 minutes the hour hand covers 30 degrees when the seconds hand goes entirely and when one minute is over the minute hand moves only 6 degrees okay so what does this mean this means that one minute is equal to 6 degrees correct also over here what we can write one hour is equal to 30 degrees right let's move on to next another important derivation okay what we have seen right now over here in one hour the hour hand moves only 30 degrees that is 1 to 2 or 2 to 3 or say 6 to 7 or 7 to 8 something like that okay one hour is nothing but 60 minutes that means in 60 minutes the hour hand moves 30 degrees so in one minute the hour hand moves 30 divided by 60 that is nothing but 0 0.5 degrees only it is a very important derivation this is important because we will be seeing how to use this to solve most of the sums so in one minute the hour hand which is there 
it moves only 0.5 degrees in 60 minutes that is one hour the hour hand moves 30 degrees in one minute hour hand moves 0.5 degrees let's move on to another derivation okay another important concept now what happens is that in one hour the minute hand which is there it covers 60 minute spaces okay 60 minute spaces right and in the, the this is for the minute hand okay this is the minute hand but the hour hand which is there it covers only 30 degrees that means what only five minute spaces correct only five minute spaces because over here see this clock this is 12 this is one two and three so minute hand covers 60 minutes but the hour hand goes from here to here only only five minute spaces it covers only here to here okay so that means the minute hand has gone 60 minus 5 equal to 55 minute spaces ahead okay that means for every one hour for every one hour the minute hand goes or minute hand gains 55 minute spaces this is an extremely important derivation because most of the sums would be solved using this just remember in one hour the minute hand gains 55 minute spaces over the hour hand okay now over here what do we have we have our clock okay now say this is the hour hand and this is the minute hand the angle over here is 90 degrees now this is what 3 this is 12 we know whenever it is 3 o'clock or say 9 o'clock or something like that the angle is 90 degrees how many minute spaces are there over here or how many minutes are there this is nothing the difference is nothing but 15 minute spaces okay so whenever we want an angle of 90 degrees the minute hand and the hour hand should be 15 minute spaces apart so it can be like this also and the minute hand can come like this also so this is also 90 degrees okay so remember that 90 degrees which is there it is possible like this as well as like this that means and you need to remember that this these two positions happen every hour okay every one hour you will find two times these positions are there okay first this 90 degree and then again when this minute hand passes their hour hand and comes over here again this 90 degree so every hour two times you will find 90 degrees so by this rule in say 12 hours okay in 12 hours that is when one round is completed okay in 12 hours how many times it should be it should be 2 into 12 24 times but this is the wrong answer why it is not 24 times why if you take your analog clock you will realize what i am going to tell you right now it happens only 22 times let us see why okay now let us derive it over here you have a clock over here okay now this is one o'clock this is two o'clock this is one this is two this is three and here we have 12 now between one to two say the hour hand is like this and the minute hand is like this okay uh, okay the drawing is not that good so whenever this hour hand which is there it comes over when it comes over here it would be 90 degrees right between one and two it would be 90 degrees and again when the hour hand comes over here just before two o'clock again it would be 90 degrees so between one and two there are two as usual there are two times you get 90 degrees now between 2 to 3 what happens is that this is 2 o'clock again i'll write over here this is 2 this is 3 and this is 12 this is 1 so this is 2 o'clock correct now the hand moves like this the hour hand will come over here and minute hand will come over here and you'll get 90 degrees correct and when this minute hand moves over here this hour hand moves over here and at exactly 3 o'clock you'll get the second 90 degrees so between 2 and 3 you get again 290 degrees right now let's move on to 3 to 4 what will happen 3 to 4 now already at 3 o'clock we have 90 degrees and this is 4 okay so this hour hand moves little bit over here this minute hand moves over here and when the hour hand is like this between 3 and 4 minute hand you will get the next 90 degrees but 
till 4 o'clock you will not get any other 90 degree so there is only one 90 degree between 3 and 4 if you say that already at 3 o'clock we have a 90 degree but that 3 o'clock 90 degree we have already counted between 2 to 3 so we cannot take it again so we get only one 90 degrees over here so in 12 hours okay okay this is for 3 o'clock the same will happen when it comes to 8 o'clock 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock because at 9 o'clock we get 90 degrees which is common to 9 to 10 and 8 to 9 between these two hours 8 to 10 you should have two times over here and two times over here that is total four times but that does not happen only three times you get between 8 to 9 once at 9 o'clock once and between 9 to 10 once so you get only three times 90 degrees okay so here again you will get only three times here again you will get only here 1 2 3 and 4 2 2 3 uh, 2 3 and 4 you will get three times over here okay so one times gone one times gone so instead of 24 times you will have two less that is 22 times okay so 90 degrees angle which you get it is only 22 times every 12 hours so in one day that is 24 hours it will be twice that is 44 times because 12 twos are 24 so 44 times in one day you will get 90 degrees angle please remember sometimes direct questions are asked that is in 12 hours how many times you will get an angle of 90 degrees when such a question is asked you should very blindly write 22 times for 12 hours and 44 times for 24 hours okay 24 hours now apart from this okay apart from this there is another concept which you are going to see similar to 90 degrees okay now we see that at 12 o'clock this is the minute hand and here this is the hour hand that is they coincide please remember that for every one hour the hour hand and the minute hand coincide one time so for 12 hours ideally it should be 12 times but it is not 12 times it is only 11 times for 12 hours it is only 11 times why let us see this is one o'clock uh, this is 11 o'clock this is 12 o'clock and this is one o'clock okay now from at 11 o'clock how is the hour hand and minute hand it is like this okay it moves the minute hand moves like this and comes over here okay whenever they coincide it is directly 12 o'clock so between 11 to 12 there is only one coincidence okay coinciding of hour hand and minute hand now 12 to 1 this minute hand moves again like this and by the time it comes over here okay over here the hour hand is like this and minute hand is like this that means it has not touched yet and once the minute hand moves again it becomes between 1 and 2 so between 12 and 1 there is no coincidence so for 2 hours there is only one time coincidence that is at 12 o'clock right so it is only at 12 o'clock between for 2 hours only one time these both hands coincide with each other so it is not 12 times it is 12 times minus 1 11 times so in one day it would be how much 22 times why 12 hours 11 times 24 hours 22 times remember this again direct questions are asked on this right again another simple derivation here we saw coincide, coinciding correct now here we will see when the hour hand and minute hand is opposite to each other that is making angle of 180 degrees here they make an angle of 0 degrees here they will make an angle of 180 degrees same as coinciding they every one hour one time there will be an angle of 180 degrees so that means in 12 hours same as coinciding it will be only 11 times okay it will be only 11 times so in 24 hours it would be 22 times okay so 20 in one day there will be 22 times coinciding and 22 times 180 degree angle that is facing opposite each other straight line facing opposite each other now both these coincide as well as facing uh, opposite each other it means that both the hour hand and the minute hand are in a straight line please observe for 90 degrees they are not in straight line but over here it is a straight line here also it is a straight line so for how many times in one day 
will both the hands be in straight line 22 times in one day for this 22 times in one day for this that is 44 times see how easy for 12 hours it would be half that is 22 times for 24 hours in a straight line if we want it is 44 times how 44 times every hour one time it will be 0 degree angle and one time it will be 180 degree angle that means for two for one hour there will be two times straight line correct for 12 hours we already seen 11 times this 11 times this 11 times 0 degree angle 11 times 180 degree angle so 22 times for 12 hours so 44 times for 24 hours please remember these concepts direct questions are asked on these okay don't forget because these are this is a very scoring topic let's move on to the next one okay uh, let's take a look at last few tips i know there have been a lot of tips so you might get uh, frustrated at how to remember all these things but they are pretty easy and uh, once you read it once you try solving sums you will very quickly get them you just need to read them once or twice and you will remember them okay what are the last few very very easy uh, tips say for example we have a normal clock okay now for a normal clock it is showing 12 10 okay 12 10 pm and there is another clock this is the correct time this is the correct time now if the other clock is showing 12 15 pm what does that mean the other clock has gained 5 minutes or the other clock is ahead by 5 minutes same way if the clock is showing say 1205 that means the clock is behind by 5 minutes okay now sometimes what happens is that a clock gains 2 seconds every hour what does that mean is that say uh, right now it is 12 o'clock okay correct time this is the correct time then the after 1 hour the correct time should be 1 o'clock correct but the clock which is gaining 2 seconds or say 2 minutes let us say 2 minutes per hour 2 minutes per hour what, what time will it show it will show 102 okay because the clock is fast the clock is fast and clock is gaining 2 minutes per hour after another hour the correct time should be 2 hour 2 o'clock right but this fast clock will show 2 plus 2 minutes it would gain so 04 pm okay so this is nothing but a fast clock or a clock which gains time what is a slow clock very easy let us assume that there is a clock which loses 1 minute per hour the clock loses 1 minute per hour that means what uh, correct time let us assume correct time is 12 o'clock okay at start the other clock which loses 1 minute per hour it will also at the start show the same time correct time now after 1 hour the correct time is 1 okay 1 pm right 1 pm so the clock which loses 1 minute per hour what time it will show it will show 1 minute less so it will show 12 59 pm after 1 hour the correct time would be 2 o'clock right one after 1 hour 1 pm then 2 pm this will show what it will show it will show 1 and it will lose 1 o'clock after this it would be 1 o'clock and it will lose 1 minute that is 59 minus 1 is 158 pm in 1 hour again it has lost 1 minute again next time would be 2 2 o'clock and only 57 minutes right so this is losing minutes or gaining minutes this is very easy okay uh, again after that there is another very 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 small things uh, it is related to what we say english or how we express time whenever we say 15 minutes past 7 15 minutes past 7 so it is 7 o'clock and 15 minutes past 7 that is after 7 so 7 15 okay then if we say 20 minutes to 8 so we will have 8 o'clock uh, so we have this is the clock okay and we have 20 minutes to 8 so 8 is over here this is the hour hand and still 20 minutes are there okay so it is at 8 only so that means it is not 8 o'clock yet so time must be 7 o'clock and 20 minutes less 60 minus 20 is 40 so it is 7 40 right now 20 minutes to 8 when we add 20 minutes you will get 8 o'clock okay plus 20 you will get 8 o'clock this is 20 minutes to 8 means it is 7 40 right now then quarter past 6 quarter past 6 6 and what is quarter quarter means 15 minutes quarter to 6 it will be 5 45 that means 15 minutes 
to six o'clock. So five forty-five. Okay. Next is half past six. Half past six means half is half an hour. That is thirty minutes. So we'll time would be six thirty. Half past six means six thirty. Okay. Now ten o'clock. Ten o'clock means what? Ten zero zero. Very easy. Then noon or midday. It is nothing but twelve. 12 p.m. is noon or midday, and midnight would be what? Zero, uh, zero, zero point zero zero, right? Now let's move. I'll write here above over here. Okay, let's take up space over here. We know a.m. Okay, a.m. is nothing but from midnight zero zero to 12 p.m. Okay, this is a.m. And what is p.m.? P.m. is from 12 p.m. to midnight zero zero. Okay, a.m. This is Till a.m. and p.m. See how easy these terms are common terms. Now, apart from this, you must have heard a proverb that a broken clock is twice uh, per day, right? What does that mean? Say this is a clock, and uh, right now this is twelve, this is six, this is three, this is nine, and say it is three thirty. Okay, three thirty. This is the hour hand. This is the minute hand, and the battery dies. The clock stops. Now, the clock has stopped at three thirty. Correct? In one day, how many hours are there? There are 24 hours. These 24 hours, which is given in an analog clock or this kind of clock, the hands of the uh, clock move twice over the same circle. That is 12 to 12. It moves twice in one day. So twice the time would be 3:30. One is in the afternoon and one is in the midnight or early in the morning, right? So Whenever the correct clock which is there, when the correct clock which is there, whenever it will show 3:30, here also it would be 3:30 because there is no battery, the hands are not moving. Okay, that is the reason they say that a broken clock is twice a day. But the twist over here is the clock which loses some minutes or which is faster or gains some minute, then the clock might be twice two times a day or may not be correct. Two times a day, it might be correct one time also, or it might not be correct at all. What is the reason for that? Because here the hands of the clock were stationary, so whenever the correct time reaches this time, that is 3:30, you'll get the exact time. But over here the hands are moving, so whenever the correct time tries to reach the this hand, the hand might remain still, or the hand might move ahead, or the uh, hands might match, or something like that. So there is no guarantee. So it might be correct. It might not be correct. It might be correct twice a day, or it might be correct only once, or it might not be correct at all. Okay. So this is the thing which you need to remember. Very easy tips are there. Please revise. Even if you revise, spend time in revising the tips because that would help you and uh, score as well as solve the sums very very quickly in the exam. So let us see some of the sums and how to solve them. Question number one. What angle is formed between the minutes hand and seconds hand of the clock if they are 25 minutes apart? Very easy. Draw a clock. Very bad drawing. Okay. What? This is three. This is six. This is nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now say this is the minute hand. Okay. Or this is the hour hand over here at and the minute hand and hour hand or seconds hand which is there. This is the say, uh, minutes hand, okay. And the seconds hand which is there, it is 25 minutes apart. So count 25 minute spaces, five minute spaces for one hour. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So seconds hand is over here. This is nothing but 25 minutes apart or 25 minute spaces apart. We have to find this angle. Very very easy. Now what we have seen, there are 60 minute spaces, correct? In a clock, okay. In this one round, there are 60 minute spaces. 60 minute spaces is 360 degrees, right? So one minute space which is there, or one minute is how much? 360 degrees by 60 is 6 degrees. So 25 minute spaces, 25 into 6 is how much? 150 degrees. This is the answer. This is the angle between the minute hand and Seconds hand, it is 150 degrees. Now over here I derived it. Why? Because whenever if you forget the formula, you can derive it like this. But I would suggest by heart these things that one minute space means six degrees. So 25 minutes means 25 minute spaces. That means 
six degrees into 25 that is 150 degrees i would uh, suggest by heart these it would help you solve the sums quickly moving to next question what will be angle between the two hands of a clock at 10 25 pm again very very easy sum this is our clock okay 12 this is 3 6 9 and the time given is 10 25 so this is 10 this is the hour hand okay and 25 1 2 3 4 uh, no, 1 2 3 4 5 and this is 25 how to find the difference or uh, angle over here this angle we have to find out they have given okay now you can find out this angle also but it depends on uh, what options have been given if they give a larger option then you can uh, provide this angle but over here we will find this angle and this angle is nothing but 360 degrees minus this angle okay now how to find this angle very easy take this r hand okay r hand is on 10 right what is this r hand is on 10 at 10 o'clock find this entire angle then minute hand is on 25 so from year to year find this angle and then this is 12 o'clock always draw this arrow at 12 o'clock so that uh, this this line at 12 o'clock so you'll be able to find how much angle has been traversed by the hour hand how much has been traversed by the minute hand okay now minute hand has traveled 25 minutes we know that in one minute the minute hand travels six degrees okay so in 25 minutes how much in 25 minutes how many degrees has been traveled 25 into 6 that would be 150 degrees by what by the minute hand okay now so this angle which we got it is 150 degrees now let us find the angle traversed or covered by the hour hand this is the hour hand this is the minute hand okay in one hour the hour hand covers how much we have seen one hour the hour hand covers just 30 degrees so in 10 hours how much it will cover 30 into 10 equal to 300 degrees see how easy it was now this is where all people make mistake 300 degrees what they do is that okay the difference will be 300 minus 150 it will be equal to 150 degrees this is the wrong answer why is it a wrong answer let us see now when it is 10 o'clock the hour hand is on 10 and the minute hand is on 12 whenever the minute hand moves 25 minutes the hour hand also moves little bit and comes over here somewhere in between so this angle which is there that also needs to be calculated i'll draw it nicely over here this is 11 this is 12 this is 10 o'clock okay and when the minute hand goes over here at 10 25 this hour hand also moves little bit so this angle has to be calculated this angle has to be considered how to calculate this angle very very easy in one hour what we have seen our hand travels 30 degrees in that means one hour is nothing but 60 minutes so it travels 30 degrees in 60 minutes the hour hand which is there hour hand it travels 30 degrees in 60 minutes so in one minute how much does it travel we have already seen 0.5 degrees how 30 degrees divided by 60 is 0.5 degrees okay so in 25 minutes how much will the hour hand travel 25 into 0.5 degrees that would give us 12.5 degrees so the total angle covered by our hand is 300 degrees plus 12.5 degrees that is 312.5 degrees and the difference between the angle so we have calculated this big angle it is 312.5 degrees difference between these two is this minus this that would be 162.5 degrees this is the answer this is the angle between two hands of the clock at 10 25 pm don't forget for our hand also you have to calculate when 25 minutes when the uh, minute hand moves calculate the angle for our hand here we got it as 12.5 degrees moving to next question question number three a clock is started at noon by 10 minutes past seven the hour hand has turned through very easy this is noon okay 12 this is seven o'clock this is six okay now the clock starts over here right at noon at 10 minutes past seven that means right now the time is this is this okay this is one this is two 10 minutes past seven so how much has the hour hand turned first for seven o'clock how much degrees it turns this is 30 degrees for one hour for seven hours it is 30 degrees into seven that is 210 degrees okay apart from this 10 minutes past seven so minute hand has moved 10 minutes for this also the hour hand moves little bit 
how much is the angle for one minute we have seen in previous term the r hand moves only 0.5 degrees so for 10 minutes it would move how much it would be 0.5 into 10 cross multiply what you will get 5 degrees this plus this would give us the answer 215 degrees so the at 10 minutes past 7 the r hand has turned through 215 degrees moving to question number 4 if the minute hand of a clock has moved 300 degrees how many degrees has the r hand moved very easy there is no need even to draw a clock we have seen that in one minute okay when one minute is covered the minute hand covers actually six degrees okay in one minute that is means when the seconds hand moves like this entirely one minute is like this one minute space so the minute hand moves like this on the right hand side and it covers six degrees so if it has covered 300 degrees how many minutes have been passed cross multiply what you will get 300 by 6 25 minutes uh, sorry it would be 50 50 minutes have been passed that means the minute hand has crossed 50 minutes or minute hand has covered 50 minutes we have learned that in one minute our hand covers 0.5 degrees so in 50 minutes how much would be covered 50 into 0.5 25 degrees this is the answer moving to next question question number five a clock when seen in a mirror shows 11:25. what is the correct time over here we have learned the tip right at the start whenever we want a mirror just subtract from 11:60, or whenever you want the correct time just subtract from 11:60. so what you will get over here you will get 11 minus 11 is 0 60 minus this is 0, 0, 35 or 0, 0 we can write it as 12 35 so these are the answers okay so it is 12 35 moving to next question question number six if real time is 12 10 then what will be mirror image of that clock very easy what have we learned for a mirror image subtract from 11 60 what is it 12 10 now 60 minus 10 50 11 minus 12 okay now here we have a problem we cannot subtract 11 or 12 from 11 because you will get negative time so what to do very very easy what have we learned 12 o'clock can be written as 00, 00 also so 12 10 can be written as 00, 00 10 like in previous sum where we got 12 35 that was nothing but 00, 00 35 so this can be written as 00, 00 10 so instead of 12 write 00, 00 11 minus 00, 00 is 11 11 50 is the answer you can check it out in the mirror keep your clock at 12 10 and check out in the mirror whether you get 11 50 or not moving to next question Ramesh sets his grandfather's clock to the right time at 2 a.m. on Thursday but he didn't know that the clock gains 20 seconds for every three hours what will the clock indicate on Friday night 6 30 p.m. Now, most of the students get confused and find this sum very, very difficult, but actually it is extremely easy. I'll tell you a tip how to solve or handle such kind of sums. Okay, don't get confused. It is very easy. Now, over here, we have to find how, what does, what time does the clock show at Friday night, 6.30 p.m. What is the start time when the clock was adjusted properly? It is 2 a.m. Okay, on Thursday, 2 a.m. on Thursday, that means at night, 2 o'clock. Okay, so now after 24 let us calculate the number of hours till friday night 6 30 pm how many hours have passed from 2 am thursday to 2 am friday okay 2 am friday how many hours have passed 24 hours correct after that again up to 2 pm friday that is friday afternoon 2 pm how many hours have passed 2 am to 2 pm that means 12 hours right from night to afternoon now 2 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. How many hours on Friday only? How many hours have passed? 4.5 hours, right? Why 4.5 hours? 30 minutes is nothing but half hour. So 4.5 hours. How many total hours have passed? 12, 24 plus 12, plus, this is nothing but 40.5 hours. These many hours have passed, okay? What have they given? The clock gains 20 seconds for every 3 hours, okay? So every three hours, in every three hours, the clock moves by 20 seconds more. Okay. So in 40.5 hours, how much seconds have been gained by the clock? Okay. Total in three hours, the clock is gaining 20 seconds or it more. Yeah. 
so say right now it is 12 o'clock okay so at 3 o'clock the clock will show 3 and 30 seconds okay so uh, 20 seconds because every 3 hours it is gaining 20 seconds at 6 o'clock it will show 6 40 seconds okay 6 hours and 40 seconds so in 20 seconds in 3 hours if it is gaining 20 seconds in 40.5 hours how many seconds it will gain just cross multiply what you will get 40.5 into 20 divided by 3 you generally get out to 270 seconds that comes out to 4.5 minutes okay that means when 40.5 hours have lapsed okay or the clock has moved 40.5 hours the clock has gained 4.5 minutes more so now what time will, will it show let us see at the left hand side the correct answer if the clock is original or the correct time is 6 30 pm it will show 4.5 minutes more that is 6 34 and 30 seconds why 4.5 0.5 minutes means 30 seconds it will show 6 34 30 pm right this is the correct answer moving to next question Question number 8. A clock loses 5 minutes every hour and was set right at 11 am on a Monday. When will it show the correct time again? Now, over here the clock is losing 5 minutes every hour, right? And we have to find out when will it show correct time. What? Now, earlier in the tips we have learned that a broken clock is always right 2 times in a day. But if the clock is losing or gaining time, okay, if the clock is losing or gaining time, it may be correct two times or one time only or it may not be correct at all. Now, there is another very important tip that you should remember while solving these kind of sums is that if the clock is losing or gaining time and if the clock loses or gains 12 hours, it will show the correct time okay once it will show the correct time at least once so if the clock loses or gains uh, time then uh, if it loses or gains 12 hours it will show the correct time okay so over here the clock is losing 5 minutes per 1 hour okay now the clock has to either lose 5 minutes or gain 5 minutes but here they have given that the clock loses 5 minutes every hour so it has to lose 12 hours okay so the clock has to lose 12 hours it is losing 5 minutes in one hour how in how many hours or how much time will it lose 12 hours simply cross multiply what you will get over here you will get question mark would be equal to one hour into 12 hours into five minutes convert minute into hours what you'll get five into five upon 60 so 60 goes up over year five into 12, 12 bells are 144. So after 144 hours, the clock will be losing 12 hours and will be showing the correct time. So 144 hours from 11 a.m. Monday, we have to count. Wow, what is 144? 11 a.m. on Tuesday, it would be 24 hours. On Wednesday, it would be 44 hours, 48 hours. On Thursday, it would be 72 hours. On Friday, it would be 96 hours. And on Saturday, it would 11 a.m. Saturday, okay, it would be 120 hours, okay, still more 24 hours more are needed. So, Sunday 11 a.m., the clock will show the correct time. See, what we did was that we know that the clock is losing 5 minutes every hour. And we know that if the clock loses or gains 12 hours, then it will show the correct time, okay. After that, again, that cycle repeats. Again, after 12 hours, it will show the correct time. So now, when the clock was set right at 11 a.m. on a Monday, only and only when it loses 12 hours, it will show correct time. 5 minutes has been lost in 1 hour. Okay? So for losing 12 hours, how much time would be needed? 144 hours would be needed. 144 hours converted into days. 24 hours is one day. So 24 hours, 11 a.m. Tuesday, 48 hours. Uh, 72 hours, 96 hours, 120 hours and 144 hours. So on 11 a.m. Sunday, the clock will lose 12 hours and will show correct time as the other clocks. Okay. See, remember, only on losing or gaining 12 hours, the clock will show correct time. Moving to the next question. My watch which gains uniformly is 2 minutes behind at noon on Sunday 
and is 4 minutes 48 seconds ahead at 2 pm on the following Sunday. When was it correct? Okay, now this is a very easy sum. It is a different kind of sum, so pay attention. It is very important such kind of sums come in exam to uh, trick you, but they are actually very easy, similar to solve what we have seen. What have they given? Today is Sunday, okay, and at noon, okay, noon means 12 o'clock. The clock is 2 minutes behind, okay. The clock is 2 minutes behind, that means it is showing 2 minutes late time, okay. Then it starts gaining, it starts gaining uniformly, and then on the following Sunday at 2 o'clock, this is 2 o'clock, the clock is actually 4 minutes and 48 seconds ahead. What does that mean? That means from behind, from behind the clock has gone ahead. So from behind when the clock started at some point over here, it showed the correct time and it was matching the correct clock. Then it again started gaining and it reached so that it is now ahead of the correct clock. Okay. Now we have learned that whenever a clock loses or gains, 12 hours then only it shows the correct time but since the clock is behind over here and it is crossing the correct time and then moving ahead you do not you need not consider this 12 hours you can use common sense here it is 2 minutes behind here it is 4 minutes 48 seconds behind uh, ahead okay so that means when it covers 2 minutes okay then it will be same as the correct clock that way that is it is showing the correct time okay now let us see how to find or how much when it will, it will show the correct time. Initially it is 2 minutes behind so it covers this 2 minutes and again on Sunday 2 pm it covers it has gone 4 minutes 48 seconds ahead. So total it has travelled 6 minutes 48 seconds that is 6 into 6 is 360 plus 48 seconds that is 408 seconds has been gained by the clock in how much time? Sunday noon so 12 pm okay and following Sunday 2 pm over here also it is Sunday but here it is 2 pm how much time Sunday 12 pm to Sunday 12 pm it will be 7 days correct 7 days every day 24 hours 24 into 7 is how much 168 hours plus 12 pm to 2 pm that is 2 hours so 2 hours okay 7 days this is what you'll get 170 hours. So in 170 hours, the clock has gained 408 seconds. Okay. Now, if you want the correct time, the clock just has to gain two minutes. Once it gains two minutes over here, take a look over here. Once it gains two minutes, it will come, it will become the same as the correct time and it will show the correct time. Then again, it starts gaining and goes ahead by four minutes, 48 seconds. But right now we just want that when it will show correct time. So it just has to gain two minutes. 2 minutes is nothing but 120 seconds. So if 408 seconds have been gained in 120 hours, 120 seconds can be gained in how much hours? Simply cross multiply what you will get. It would be 170 into 120 divided by 408. The time over here what you get is, let us see, uh, 4, 3s are, 30s are, 4, 1, 0, 2. Okay. 1, 0, 2. Again over here uh, what you will have? 4, 4, 4, uh, 2. 2 into 8 is 16. 85 comes over here. Again you will have 51 over here. Right? So at the end you will get 85 into 30 upon 51. If you calculate this, what you will get? 17, 3's are, 17, 5's are, right? 5, 3's are. Again this is 10, 5, 10's are 50. So this is 50 hours. So in 50 hours, 120 seconds have been gained. What is 50 hours? 50 over here, take a look at the left hand side. I am drawing over here. 50 hours is nothing but 48 hours plus 2 hours. 48 hours is nothing but 2 days. So 2 days and 2 hours. Okay. So Sunday 12 p.m. Next day, one day is Monday 12 p.m. Okay. Over here, wait, we will have here Sunday 12 p.m. Right. One day is over. Monday 12 pm, second day is over, Tuesday 12 pm and 2 hours. So Tuesday at 2 pm, the clock will show the correct time. Answer is Tuesday 2 pm. See how easy it was. Moving to next question. At what time between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock will the hands of a clock be together? Now this is a very easy sum. 
but uh, if you do not follow a proper method you will always end up getting the wrong answer almost always 99% of times people get confused or follow a very very lengthy method and all that stuff but a very easy and a simple method that will always give you the correct answer i'll show you to you right now over here so please pay close attention okay now what have they given that the hands of the clock should be together together means what they must coincide okay they must coincide right now we know that every hour the hands coincide once okay but there is this is just for a fact to tell you but let us see how to solve the sum now what we know in one hour the minute hand moves how many spaces 60 minute spaces right 60 minute spaces have been moved by minute hand this is for minute hand for the hour hand in one hour only five minute spaces have been moved in one hour that means the minute hand gains how much 60 minus 5 55 minute spaces every hour every hour okay so both the uh, so the in one hour in one hour okay in one hour the minute hand gains uh, in one hour that means in 60 minutes right the minute hand gains 55 minutes spaces correct 55 minutes spaces now let us move on to the sum okay this is the basics now this is 6 o'clock this is 12 okay so this is 7 now at what have they given between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock this is 8 o'clock this is 7 o'clock right now what they want is when will the hands be together say if we keep this hand our hand this is the our hand this is a minute hand if we fix this our hand then this minute hand if it has to be together with the our hand it has to travel this much amount okay that means it has to travel these many minute spaces how many minute spaces are this these till here it is 30 here it is 5 minute spaces so total it would be 35 minute spaces so if the minute hand and our hand have to be same at the same point between 7 and 8 then this minute hand has to gain 35 minute spaces if in 60 minutes the hour hand uh, the minute hand gains 55 minute spaces in how many minutes will the hour hand gain or minute hand gain the 35 minute spaces what you'll get cross multiply okay cross multiply you'll have question mark equal to 60 into 35 divided by 55 that would be equal to 38 2 upon 11 minute uh, minutes after 7 okay past 7 so 38 2 by 11 minutes past 7 at this point both the hands would be together okay this is 7 this is 8 okay these both the hands would be together so always remember what we need to do first we need to find this time the initial time which is there take it fix it how many how many minute spaces does the minute hand has to travel that we have to calculate then just cross multiply and get the answer okay let's see another question related to this when will the clock's hand be in a straight line but pointing in opposite directions between 2 am and 3 am again very easy we have learned 60 minutes that is in one hour the minute hand the one hour that is 60 minutes minute hand gains 55 minute spaces over the hour hand okay now over here we want hour hand and minute hand in opposite directions correct this is the hour hand this is the minute hand what are the time given 12 1 2 and 3 okay so this is over here right between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock now over here we have 2 o'clock first we will write 2 okay 2 am now we want between these two times what do we want is that these hands are in opposite direction that means the minute hand should come over here correct now over here minute hand is on 12 our hand is on 2 fix the our hand over here only fixed exactly fixed how much is this difference how many minute spaces 10 minute spaces okay when they are opposite to each other we know the angle made is 180 degrees and it is nothing but 30 minutes that means this is nothing but 30 minute spaces correct so how much does the minute hand has to travel so that it becomes opposite to this hour hand 10 plus 30 equal to 40 minute spaces has to be traveled by the minute hand so in 60 minutes if the minute hand gains 55 minute spaces 
in how many minutes will the minute hand gain 40 minute spaces cross multiply what you will get 60 into 40 by 55 the answer you will get is 43 7 by 11 minutes past 2 am okay so at this point both the hands would be in opposite direction and in a straight line see how easy it was just fix this our hand and find the answer how much the minute hand has to travel okay moving to next question when will be both hands of a clock at right angle between 8 pm and 9 pm now again very easy we have know that we know that in one hour every time we get two 90 degree angles or the right angles okay so 8 pm and 9 pm 8 pm to 9 pm is one hour so we have to find two uh, two possibilities okay or the two angles or the two times when we will get 90 degrees how to do it very easy we have learned in one hour the minute uh, that one hour that means in 60 minutes the minute hand gains 55 minute spaces okay this is our clock this is nine o'clock this is 12 o'clock this is say eight o'clock so what is the initial time 8 pm right minute hand this is 8 pm right now what is the difference of uh, minutes between the minute hand and the hour hand this is nothing but 40 minute spaces okay this is 40 minute spaces now when we want a right angle okay what we have seen say this is three o'clock right angle can be this way also and this hand moves like this and we get a right angle over here also same way over here this moves somewhere over here and we get a right angle over here and again this hand moves ahead over here and here somewhere again we will get a right angle okay so for this right angle okay we do not know how much angle the or how many minute spaces the minute hand has to move so let us find out now for the first right angle triangle this is the first possibility okay over here this one this is the first possibility this is the second possibility for first possibility how much does the minute hand has to cover first we do not know this angle we know this is entire from here to here it is 40 okay this to this is 40 and here to here we know that this is nothing but 15 minute spaces this is also 15 minute spaces so this is 15 minute spaces so how much does the minute hand has to cover total is 40 minus 15 minute spaces that is it has to cover 25 minute spaces so this is 25 minute spaces so when it is 25 over here we have to fix this our hand when it is 25 over here then only the difference between both is 15 minute spaces and you get a right angle over here so in 60 minutes 55 minute spaces have been covered so in how many minutes 25 minute spaces would be covered simply cross multiply and you will get 27 3 by 11 minutes past 8 pm okay so this is the first possibility where you get a right angle triangle now the second possibility now what happens is that second time the minute hand actually starts from here here you get 90 degree again it crosses and again you get a 90 degree over here correct 90 degree over here i'll draw the diagram again over here this is 8 this is the minute hand it crosses it goes over here and again over here you'll get 90 degrees right so we have to find how much the hand has traveled we know that to get 90 degree the difference has to be 15 minute spaces so this is 15 minute spaces we already know this is 40 so 40 plus 15 it has to travel 40 plus 15 it has to gain it has to travel that is 55 it has to gain it has to travel we already know in one hour to travel 55 minute spaces it takes 60 minutes that is one hour so it would be 60 minutes past 8 pm 60 minutes is one hour past 8 pm that is exactly at 9 pm the second right angle will form you can see 9 pm it is the right angle okay so the two points where you get a right angle between 8 pm and 9 pm is 27 3 by 11 minutes past 8 pm and at exactly 9 pm moving to next question Ramesh wants to set the clock hands 8 minutes apart between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock what would be the time shown in the clock if it does so now say this is 10 o'clock and this is 11 o'clock okay now between these two times he wants such a way uh, say this is 11 okay and this is 12 okay so this is 10 o'clock and this is 11 o'clock between 10 to 11 he wants to arrange the hour hand and the minute hand in such a way that the 
uh, between them there are eight minute spaces or he wants them eight minutes apart so it can be this way also or the minute hand can be here also okay eight minutes so how to calculate or how to find very easy draw your clock this is what 12 this is say 10 o'clock okay how many minute spaces is this this is nothing but 50 minute spaces okay five minute spaces in one hour so in 10 hour how many minute spaces 50 minute spaces these are 50 minute spaces this is 11 now this is the minute hand this is the hour hand okay this is the hour hand this is minute hand now the minute hand and the hour hand difference has to be eight minutes so minute hand travels over here here and when it travels to 42 minutes okay 42 minutes then the difference will be eight minutes this is 50 minutes this is 42 minutes so difference will be eight minutes again when it crosses 50 minutes and when it comes to 58 minutes over here again the difference will be what it will be simply eight minutes correct so there are two possibilities one and two let us find out for both we have already learned in one hour that is 60 minutes the minute hand gains 55 minute spaces over the hour hand so if it has to keep the hour hand fixed over here we have learned it keep the hour hand fixed over here the first case the minute hand has to gain 42 minutes so to gain 42 minute spaces how many minutes will it take simply you cross multiply 60 into 42 divided by 55 and you will get the answer as 43 9 by 11 minutes past 10 o'clock okay 10 o'clock okay now what is the second possibility this is the point uh, this is the point at which the difference between both the hands of the clock is 8 minutes or both hands are 8 minutes apart second possibility is now the minute hand has crossed 50 minutes and gone ahead and now it is at 58 minutes now the difference over here is again 8 minutes so they are 8 minutes apart so for 60 minutes 55 minute spaces are gained by the minute hand over the hour hand so in how many minutes 58 minute spaces would be gained simply you will get 60 into 58 by 55 when you calculate you will get it 63 3 by 11 but 63 3 by 11 minutes past 10 o'clock okay minutes past 10 o'clock now play please pay close at, close attention over here it is easy actually but still i am explaining 63 minutes past 10 o'clock we know one hour is of 60 minutes so 63 3 11 can be written as 60 minutes plus 3 minutes and 3 by 11 3 3 by 11 minutes correct 60 minutes is nothing but 1 hour 1 hour plus 3 3 by 11 minutes past how much past 10 o'clock so 10 o'clock plus 1 hour will be 11 hours so answer would be what i'll write here at the top 11 or 3 minutes 3 3 by 11 minutes past 11 o'clock okay so this is the answer right so the answer if you want it to be 8 minutes apart it can be either at this time 43 9 by 11 minutes past 10 o'clock or 3 3 by 11 minutes past 11 o'clock here it is 10 o'clock here it is 11 o'clock please pay attention whenever the number of minutes goes beyond 60 just add one hour to this time okay moving to next question question number 14 the minute hand and hour hand of a clock meet every 62 minutes does the clock gain or lose in 24 hours and how much does it lose or gain okay over here what we have learned up till now say this is a clock okay and uh, say both the hands are coinciding right now over here if we fix the hour hand if the minute hand starts moving again if it has to meet the hour hand it has to cover how much space 60 minute spaces okay this is 60 minute spaces please pay attention this sum is very easy okay just pay attention right from start and you'll understand how to solve these kind of sums so again when the hands have to meet together the minute hand has to cover 60 minute spaces we have learned in one hour that is 60 minutes the minute hand gains 55 minute spaces over the hour hand so if it has to gain 60 minute spaces over the hour hand so that they coincide together how many minutes will they take simply 
cross multiply what you will get over here question mark 60 into 60 divided by 55 you will get 65 5 by 11 minutes so every 65 5 by 11 minutes the hour hand and minute hand are together please remember this result is it is very useful a direct question can be asked that after how many minutes the hour hand and minute hand will always be together but what have they given over here they are given that the hour hand and minute hand meet after every 62 minutes okay 62 minutes is less than 65 5 by 11 minutes what does that mean that means the clock is fast that is the clock is gaining time okay so does the clock gain or lose in 24 hours it will always gain okay it is given gain because they are meeting in less amount of time how much less time 65 5 by 11 minus 62 would be nothing but 3 5 by 11 that is 11 3 is a 33 plus 5 38 by 11 minutes so every hour per hour every hour the clock is gaining 30 by 38 by 11 minutes per hour now what happens is that not per hour actually uh, per circulation now the hands meet every 62 minutes so every 62 minutes the clock is gaining 38 by 11 minutes per uh, 38 by 11 minutes so in 20 62 minutes okay so in 24 hours how much minutes does the clock gain simply cross multiply okay so i'll solve it over here at the bottom what you will get question mark would be equal to 38 upon 11 into 24 we have to convert it into minutes 24 into 60 divided by 62 you will get as 6080 divided by 77 okay that would be equal to 7874 by 11 now please remember this is very very easy there is nothing to it uh, we just over here you might get a little bit confused because here we have not taken one hour we have taken 62 minutes because the clocks meet the hands of the clocks meet after 62 minutes it does not meet like normal time so every 62 minutes it is gaining 38 by 11 minutes so in 24 hours how much it will gain that we have to find out so this is the answer okay this much amount of time these many minutes it will gain right moving to next question at what time after 9 am do hands of a clock make a right angle again very easy what we have learnt over here 9 and 12 okay here already a right angle is there they want what time after 9 the next right angle occurs okay this is 90 degrees so the hand must come over here and when it is over here you will get a right angle so fixed fix this r hand okay this is the r hand this is a minute hand and the minute hand when it travels how many spaces right angle should be there over here so this is 15 minute spaces this is total is 45 minute spaces correct because 9 and 12 this is 9 this is 12 so this has to be 45 minute spaces because total is 60 minute spaces this is 90 degree okay so the minute hand has to travel 45 minus 15 that is 30 minute spaces minute hand has to gain 30 minute spaces then only you get a 90 degree or a right angle we know in one hour that is 60 minutes 55 minute spaces are gained so 30 minute spaces are gained in how much time it would simply be 60 into 30 divided by 55 that would be equal to 32 8 by 11 minutes past 9 am okay so this is the answer moving to next question question number 16 jaggu set an alarm on his clock for monday 11 am he set his clock correctly on sunday 1 am he was unaware that the clock gains 20 minutes every 24 hours when his alarm went off what was the actual time now this is a very easy sum here we have to find the actual time we have to use the same method what we used earlier when was the clock correctly set sunday 1 am okay to monday 1 am what do we get 24 hours then monday 11 am 1 am to 11 am it is 10 hours so total 34 hours what is given the clock gains 20 minutes every 24 hours so how many minutes will be gained in 34 hours cross multiply what do we get you get the answer as 20 into 34 by 24 equal to 28.333 minutes 
okay you can write it as 28 minutes and one third minute is 20 seconds because 60 seconds one third of 60 seconds is 20 seconds so this much amount of time is gained by the clock now the alarm goes off now the alarm which goes off over here please pay attention alarm which goes off is at the wrong time okay alarm goes off at 11 am exactly on monday but this 11 am is as per the clock okay the clock is gaining time that means the real time which is there or the actual time which is there it is less than 11 am right now okay how much less it is 28 minutes 20 seconds less because the clock has gained 28 minutes 20 seconds so how much is the actual time right now 11 am minus 28 minutes 20 seconds now how to subtract very easily 11 am can be written as 10 am and 60 seconds uh, or 60 minutes sorry minus 28 minutes and 20 seconds 60 minutes minus 28 minutes 20 seconds you will get it as 31 minutes 40 seconds and this is 10 am as it is so the actual time is 31 minutes 40 seconds past 10 am okay so this comes over here see how easy it is very very easy just remember the tricks these tricks no other type of sums related to clocks would be asked if you remember these 16 sums everything related to clock you will be able to understand very easily go through the tips spend some time by heart the tips so that it would be easier and quicker to solve in exam this ends clocks this is all that you need to know to solve sums related to clocks Share the video with friends and give it a like if you liked it. Leave your comments and suggestions for us. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel so as to stay updated about upcoming tutorials and videos.